The Fair Maid of the West. A pub regular tells us about the original play by Thomas Hayward. And reads a letter from the playwright explaining that this is a new adaptation. We are in Plymouth in 1598 in a pub. The regulars are complaining about the war with Spain. The landlord of the pub is rude and greedy. But Liz, his rat catcher, is kind and remembers all the regulars. Even those who are down on their luck. Spencer arrives and proposes to Liz. Even though he's never spoken to her, only seen her from afar, Liz turns him down. Some rich merchants come into the pub and a fight gets started. As Spencer defends Liz's honour against her wishes. One of the merchants is killed and Liz is blamed. Spencer gives Liz the keys to one of his family pubs in Cornwall and she flees to become the landlady at the Crown. When she arrives, she meets Clem, an orphan who lives in the pub. They decide to run the pub together and to rename it The Open Arms. Liz meets the locals and forms a plan to get the local community invested in the pub. She listens to their problems, gives them advice, organises activities and classes, and holds auditions for live entertainment. Liz and Clem befriend some of the locals, Windbag the postman, Bardolph, a recent divorcee, and rough man, who Liz employs as a doorman after he threatens to kill her. Business really picks up, and there is more work than Liz and Clem can handle. Unbeknownst to Liz, Spencer starts working at the pub overnight, hiding in the cellar cleaning all the bottles and learning to catch rats himself. He's revealed and eventually covers a shift on the bar. Afterwards, he tells her he's off to Spain to become a barber surgeon and learn the medical skills that would have saved the dying merchant at their first meeting. Liz waits for a letter from Spencer. But months later, she receives one from his boss. He's been captured by the Spanish and will be executed. Liz descends into despair like so many of those she helped months ago. Eventually, she decides to go to Spain to retrieve Spencer's body and give him a proper burial in Cornwall. Ruffman, Clem, Bardolph and Wimbag volunteer to go with her. However, they are in for more than they bargained. The sea is treacherous and full of Spanish ships. And the shore is even more dangerous, crawling with soldiers as the new king is about to be crowned. Trying to blend in, our heroic travellers seek out a taverna. Parading the town to celebrate his coronation, the king arrives, and Liz finds herself face to face with the one man who can bring the end to the Anglo-Spanish War. The king's advisor, the Duke of De Lerma, is quick to anger and threatens to arrest and execute our heroes as English spies. 
Liz must use all of her wits and experience to persuade them to spare their lives.